Hey, do you know how to produce energy? It is by cellular respiration. Aerobic and anaerobic are its types. They differ in the need for oxygen. While aerobic makes use of oxygen, which anaerobic doesn't need, both can still make ATP. The first step in them both is the same, and it's got such a fancy name. I bet you'd love to learn more about it. Glycolysis, it is a 10 step long reaction that occurs in the cytoplasm, also known as EMP pathway. Glycolysis, it is the partial oxidation of a molecule of glucose forming two pyruvic acid. The disaccharide sucrose first undergoes hydrolysis using enzyme inverters forming glucose and fructose. Both of which are simple monosaccharide units, which then readily enter the glycolytic pathway. It gets phosphorylated, utilizing NATP, catalyzed by hexokinase, and form glucose 6-phosphate, which further undergoes isomerization and forms fructose 6-phosphate, which again gets phosphorylated, utilizing another ATP, 2-fructose 1-6-phosphate, which splits into two triose phosphates, one's PGAL, the other's DHAP. They are both isomers containing three carbons. DHAP now converts to PGAL. Both PGAL get phosphorylated, form 1 3 bis phosphoglyceric acid, while NAD plus forms NADH and H plus. This now forms 3 phosphoglyceric acid, while an ATP gets synthesized. Oh, glycolysis. Now the 3 phosphoglyceric acid forms 2 phosphoglyceric acid, which further forms phosphoenol pyruvate. Glycolysis still forms phosphoenol pyruvate. Then forms pyruvic acid while another ATP gets synthesized. At the end of the glycolytic pathway, there will be an again of two ATP molecules. Also, in this pathway, two molecules of NAD plus will get reduced into NADH plus H plus. Glycolysis, it is a 10 step long reaction that occurs in the cytoplasm, also known as EMP pathway. Pasito, pasito, sobe, sobecito, 